That's the Google Cloud uh, Data Summit. Um, a little background here. Um, at least when I've talked to either uh, CIOs and, and even CEOs in the last six months, asking them, hey, do you use Google in any way, Google Cloud in any way, shape, or form? And, and, and if they say yes, typically it's around either data and analytics uh, or, or AI. And, and, and that is the sweet spot for uh, Google Cloud right now as a starting point. And that's their land and expand strategy uh, when they get in there. And Google announced a, a bunch of uh, new products. And Daniel, this, uh, this, 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 you might recognize this uh, from Cloudera, but basically they came out with an end-to-end -end platform uh, at multiple steps of the way uh, with security and governance for the data engineer, the data scientist, the developer, the data analyst, and, and the business user, a full stack offering uh, with the ability to pull data in from multiple places and then export data if you wanted to into multiple places or heck, uh, visualize it in uh, in Looker or, or something uh, like that. So Dell, for the first time, planted their flag on an end-to-end -end integrated data platform that reminds me a little bit of Cloudera. I, I'm just, I'm going to admit it. I'm going to throw it out there. Um, uh, the other place, the other uh, two products, they brought out Dataplex and Datastream and Analytics Hub. Uh, Dataplex is the ability to get a kind of a one view across data lakes, warehouses, other data marts and organizations, and do it with a consistent policy. Um, Datastream is all about uh, integrating and analyzing data and doing it quickly and having the fewest resources to uh, achieve it. It's serverless. Uh, it's a uh, it's a service, uh, but it essentially is intelligent replication across many places. And then finally, Analytics Hub, which is how to manage and govern all of this um, uh, uh, information here. It's based on BigQuery, which uh, I would say is one of the best known tools out there if you do if you're doing any kind of data uh, 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 with that and. I'm going to end here. Gosh, I'm just talking up a storm here. Um, in addition to an end-to-end -end data um, process flow and management system, they also did it for AI. And, and they, did, they did this at Google I.O., but I don't think it got a lot of uh, press because Google I.O. is primarily a consumer event. And this is very much an enterprise tool called Vertex AI. And as we have grown to love, uh, we saw AWS bring out an end-to-end -end, um, uh, AI uh, platform, uh, all the way going from data, lab data uh, labeling all the way to models uh, and inference. That is Vertex AI. Oh. Well, let's sort of wrap this one, this section up where we began. I mean, data is the core. Google yeah. recognizes, I mean, AWS has already built an expansive and highly extensible data set of tools for everything from AI and ML to database. Google's a little bit been playing catch up. Not surprised to see them expanding that offering. Microsoft's whole developer event build was all about data, data platforms, low code, making data more accessible to uh, developers and non-developers, creators to be able to utilize so it's not surprising when you start to hear these big cloud players, you know, getting into the spaces where a cloud era plays, uh, making offerings for AI ML where Databricks plays, getting into the spaces of uh, Snowflake, Palantir, and all the others that are basically saying, hey, we do this data thing really well. Well, the big cloud providers are, you can count on them being there. That doesn't mean there won't be best of breed tools from other vendors, but you can just be certain that Google with its ambitions for growth under Thomas Curian are going to make the investments and expand. So way to go, 